Tonight's game against the Ottawa Senators has changed everything for this Boston Bruins team heading into the playoffs for thinking that we were going to play Tampa for so long. We have now found out that we are set to play the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first round of the 2024 NHL playoffs. So I'm going to be breaking down what we know so far, the matchup, the preview, as well as a little bit of what we've seen in tonight's game, which is going to be a real telltale sign of what we're going to see in the playoffs, as well as the retirement of Jack Edwards. So stick around, find out all of this news here that we're going to be bringing you up until these playoffs and well beyond into that. So before we get into all of this news though we know it's the 81% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel you're looking for a spot to get all your Boston Bruins news throughout these very very exciting upcoming playoffs you're in the right spot make sure hit the sub button join me along here as we cover this team from videos to live streams and everything going into this very very exciting playoffs but like I said let's get straight into it we meet again we are going up against the Toronto Maple Leafs the biggest rivalry in the playoffs uh, for a long, long time uh, in this year's playoffs again, and boy is this ever exciting. The Boston Bruins tweeted this after we finalized everything, we figured everything out, and they say, and so we meet again. Round one, Toronto versus Boston. Now, this isn't the Toronto versus Boston that we've known for a long time. There's definitely a lot of changes to this Boston Bruins roster from the years previous. It's a different play style now for this Boston Bruins team. Definitely not as big, definitely not as physical, but the skill is still there, the rivalry is still there, the excitement is still there, and everybody should be on this feet on their feet for this uh, upcoming matchup. This is going to be such an exciting playoffs. Now, we also do recognize the struggles the Boston Bruins have had lately, including these past two games. Now, tonight, the story really went just like Joe Haggerty said here. The Bruins have definitely woken up, but Ant Anton Forsberg is standing on his head in the third period. Just making, just made a stretch pad uh, pass, tre stretch pad pass, sorry. Uh, against Charlie McAvoy at the back post after a slick net from past Jake DeBrus. Still 2-1 game with 4.34 to go in the third, but the main story is there that they were putting up a bit more offense near the end of the game. Started off slow again, which cannot happen in the playoffs. I mentioned that in yesterday's video, but this is going to be one that is going to be really interesting for the Boston Bruins, knowing how much they've struggled in these past few, uh, few weeks. You know, I'd be safe to say a few weeks. And the struggles that they've had on the power play, the offense and not winning against teams where they probably should, the offense just being asleep the entire game, but this series should absolutely light a fire under everybody. Everybody knows the history, everybody knows what happened in that Game 7, and this is just going to be something that is going to be all eyes on in the first round of these NHL playoffs, no matter what every other matchup is from the East and the West. This is going to be one where everybody's going to be watching this one, and the Bruins are going to have... A lot of pressure on them, but knowing what the result was throughout this season, winning every every matchup against the Maple Leafs, as well as years previous. So this is going to be a very exciting one, but uh, I want to touch on this too. A thing that we've been speaking about, the goalies. Who's going to start game one? And immediately after this game ended tonight against the Ottawa Senators, Fluto Shinzawa tweeted out a athletic article saying, who will start game one? And this is what he had to say. Since March 8th deadline, Linus Allmark, a 9.35 save percentage, has had an upper hand on Jeremy Swayman, an 8.84 save percentage. The defending Vesna winner deserves to go. There's one wrinkle. Swayman started the Bruins' past two games against the Leafs. He only let in one goal in each game. So, if this says anything to me, if this says anything at all to me, this means rotate them. Jeremy Swayman has had the Leafs number this season. Exactly, the numbers were there. Start him in whatever, game one or two, I don't care, and play Linus Allmark the other one. Stick with the rotation that we've seen. This is the perfect opportunity to do it, where Linus Allmark has been the hot goalie. He's been playing well as of late. He's been standing on his head in just about every game that we've seen him play in over the past month or two. And Jeremy Swayman has had the Leafs number all season. Play him every second game or whatnot. Continue that. No matter how long this series goes, no matter what the result is, unless any, God forbid, in injury, I think this rotation needs to stick. And those numbers there to me tell me that that is the case. That is what the Boston Bruins need to do. So... That's what I'm thinking right now needs to do. As Fluto Shinzawa said in this article here, although Linus Allmark deserves to go game one, you can't forget about Jeremy Swayman and what he's done against the Boston Bruins this year. So let me know what you think about this matchup. A very exciting one. Uh, again, lots more to come on this matchup before game one of this. I'll probably do a few live streams during these playoff games as well as likely before the games and whatnot uh, to get, keep you guys updated, get a little conversation going about this Bruins playoffs because... 
you, I have no words for how excited I am. Watching these games tonight, even the East Wild card, I was on the edge of my seat. So this is a perfect example of how exciting these playoffs are going to be, especially for our Boston Bruins. But let's move on to this game here. Just a little breakdown. I wanted to kind of discuss this as this really had the impact of us playing the Toronto Maple Leafs. And uh, as you've seen from the Joe Haggerty uh, tweet that I put up, it was really just a slow start once again for this Bruins team. Whether or not they were tanking for the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, it would make sense of last game as that nobody on the team was ready to go except Jeremy Swayman. And tonight, another slow start, but picked up at the end. So regardless... This got to change for the playoffs. If they do want a chance of winning, let's not discredit the Toronto Maple Leafs. Although the uh, the Bruins have beaten them every game this season, they're still a very good key, uh, very good team. Matthews, 70 goals this season, got that tonight. One guy they're going to have to watch, but as well as the whole team. You know, everybody on this team has been playing really good lately, and it's just going to be such an exciting matchup. None of these guys were on those previous teams where the Bruins faced them uh, in, in Game 7, I should say. So that you can't put that as a factor anymore. You can't make that think about in people's minds and whatnot. So we had to focus on our own game. We get our wheels back, get the feet going again, and uh, just get ready for these playoffs. But I will pull up the stat card here. And, you know, it's a pretty average game from everybody. No, nothing too exciting. Kevin Schottenkirk kind of surprised me he was on the top. Uh, not saying he played a bad game, but just not normally used to seeing his name as high as he is. Uh, but as you can see here, nothing too special uh, from this game. Brad Marchand, kind of invisible once again on the... On the the, the stat sheet was on the ice, you know, but once again, going to have to be resolved for the playoffs, and I expect this Bruins team to be able to do that, acknowledge what's going to happen here, as the Bruins do have some players from those eras of the previous matchups, including Brad Marchand, David Pasternak, not on that team, but knows the opportunity, knows the uh, the relevance, the importance of a game like this. So, I'll, once again, I'll be touching more on this throughout these next couple, couple of days, uh, as we move closer to the game one of these playoffs. But let's talk about our final topic here. Jack Edwards has announced his retirement after the postseason on the New England Sports Network. And I know many people uh, are not too fond of Jack Edwards. There's a lot of mixed conversation about him. But regardless, you have to admit, he's such a legendary commentator. Whether or not you agree with his, his comments, whether or not you like him or not, he was a legendary commentator, and he's going to have a very, very good uh, final few games of his career, I hope, and let's extend this as long as possible. This came out from uh, NESN. After 19 years as the Bruins play-by-play -play broadcaster, Jack Edwards has announced his retirement following the 2023-24 postseason games. And, you know, like I said, uh, we do wish him well in his retirement. Well-deserved, legendary commentator. It's not always for the right reasons, but he has some memorable, uh, some memorable moments that I'm sure... Whether or not you're a fan of him, you won't forget. So I just kind of wanted to give him a, a well wishings on his retirement here. But the big thing was the Maple Leafs and the Bruins. Once again, round one of the NHL playoffs. So let me know what you think in the comments. I posted a poll on the community tab. Go vote on that. I know it's going to be a pretty biased response as we are a Boston Bruins channel. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys are very concerned, as am I, about the Bruins' play as of late and what could go, uh, what could go wrong with this matchup. So... That's all I got here. Uh, if you did enjoy the video and you do want to stay up to date throughout these playoffs, heading into round one, all the news in the Boston Bruins, make sure to hit the sub button. I'll be here to keep you guys updated, whether it's in a video, whether it's on a live, whether it's on the community post. Uh, I'll be letting you guys know. We'll be here in the conversation, and uh, you're not, you won't want to miss it. But like I said, that's all I got. I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later.